not really. podcast. We are a probably a crafty podcast coming to you from Southern Connecticut. I am your host Gabby and we are joined today by the red-headed Audrey and our tricolor Iron. You can find me everywhere. Yes, Audrey. You can find me everywhere online as Gabby Gales and all my hand-dyed yarn and fiber at Once Upon a Corgi. Thank you so much for coming back if you're a returning viewer and thank you so much for checking us out if you are a new viewer. That's just the uh, we also have a cat who's wandering around and yelling things we deal with for podcasting. We have a couple of announcement things to get into before we uh, get into the nitty stuff. We have a giveaway coming up. The lovely designer Laura Beth Knits, who has designed the Pisces socks and is and is doing a horoscope collection, astrology collection, a uh, horoscope inspired sock collection for the year 2018 slash 2019. So she just released her first pattern, which is the Pisces socks and has been designed out of our new Audrey base in the Towers Over the Thames colorway. So I'm going to open a thread in the Ravelry group, which you can find on Ravelry, Once Upon a Corgi Podcast, under the groups tab. I always forget about him. Oh God, cat's trying to get in the fight. And the riddles. What are you gonna do? And we are super happy to announce that we will be having a trunk show at Westport Yarns in Westport, Connecticut, which is where we used to be from. Um, yeah, we uh, just got in touch with them and they've been working on getting more indie dyers and more local dyers into their shop. So I'm very excited to help them on that journey into incorporating more of the, the indie dyed world into their little yarn shop. So that is Saturday, March 10th from, I believe we said noon to four. Yes, because they have a beginner knitting class in the morning. So noon to four, February 10th, uh, Westport Yarns. No, just kidding. March 10th. March 10th, <laughs> Westport Yarns. My brain is just fried. I have, it's early in the morning. Uh, I did not podcast last night because I decided to take myself out on a date and went to Joann's and looked at patterns for like an hour and a half and then looked at fabrics for like a half hour and then got kicked out of the store because they were closing. So that is it for our announcements, I believe. I'm not doing this with any show notes. I did not write them up last night. I was too busy making other lists, so we're winging it for the first time in a little while. Before we get into finished objects and works in progress, I'm going to share what I'm wearing. I am wearing the Surprise Party Shawl by Helen Stewart, and this is out of Hugh Loco yarn. The red is her tweed sock in Rosehip, and the minis are her Color Riot mini set in the Outlander color set. I'm also wearing Rhinebeck socks, but I'm not going to try and show you those. Also my zinnia skirt. Nope, I'm not gonna show you that either because there's a coffee stain on the front. Sorry. So we have a, uh, a full finished object, sort of, and a half finished object. The first full finished object is actually sewing, but I'm not gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a video slash pictures of them because uh, I already wore them. And that is the Hold on, Ligrid. And that is the Bella Knickers by Eva Lelouf. Uh, she is on Etsy and she does lingerie, underwear, bra, bralette, patterns, and kit. So I picked up a couple patterns from her and you can get digital patterns, which is super nice because she is based out of the UK. Here's all of her information. And she does kit. So I got the Bella Knickers kit and I sewed that up. And there were definitely some mistakes. I definitely um, didn't read the pattern wrong, but kind of misinterpreted the pattern a little bit. Like there's a line that says place decorative edge here. So I thought that meant 
the pattern wouldn't include a scalloped edge of the lace, I have a piece that I'm gonna make another pair out of. So I thought you would put the pattern down here, not here. So on the second pair, I will not be making that mistake again. But it was a very quick knit. I did not knit. It was a very quick sew. I probably cutting out the pieces and sewing everything together maybe a half hour between like reading directions and stopping to stare at the Great British Sewing Bee. So that was a very fun, um, it was a very like, it was a nice relaxing, like I just need to get some sewing out kind of thing. So I am going to be making another pair. I have this fabric, I got it at Affordable Fabrics. Um, it's just like a stretch lace and the pattern calls for, I, I don't even think this is, this is about a yard maybe. So you can make one pair, one and, one and a half pairs out of it. Um, so I'm probably gonna do this tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I just have to get the lining cotton. I know I bought some, I just don't know where I put it. Because I did buy a bunch of stretch, stretch lace, um, I wanna say about a year ago, when I was super gung-ho about doing this whole handmade wardrobe thing. So I stocked up on it and figured I'd find a pattern and then I did and now I, now I have to find the lace. It's in here somewhere, I hope. So that is one of my finished objects and a potential future project. Our other is a hoe. We finally have a hoe. I think this is a record for one of these socks and that is our assistant to the regional manager socks. We have finished one sock for Jake this year. My goal is six pairs of socks. And I mean, at this rate, that kind of might happen. Maybe four. Maybe I should go to four pairs of socks, like one every three months. So here it is. It is 72 stitches on a size uh, 2.5 millimeter US one and a half high, high sharps. It is, oh, I'm never gonna remember this. Eat, knit, die. I want to say is the name. I'm so sorry. I love your stuff. I just can never remember your name. In the assistant to the regional manager colorway with beats as the heel and toes. And we, you gotta, you gotta show it. Iron oh, has brought you this tennis ball today. What was I saying? Oh, I did the. Did I do an eye of partridge? I think it's technically an eye of partridge. I just did like a slip stitch heel and the double gussets because they fit his weird shaped foot really nicely. People are texting me. And I did a um, regular just wedge toe because that fits his toes. So we are done. Uh, we have not woven in any ends yet, but we should probably do that. We might just have an ends weaving in party soon because he is very excited to wear them. And I have cast on, heading straight into whips, the second sock, wha-bam! So uh, I knit the cuff on Sunday and then I knit uh, to here uh, during Black Panther which we saw on Monday yes we saw on Monday which was amazing if you have not seen it go see it it is it is everything right now I really want to go I really want to go see it again and then I knit from that gray stripe down to uh, during knit group this week so we are at the point where we need to put our heel in Dogs are just laying on their backs and like piranha chomping each other. It's your life so hard. I'm really glad you're playing. Do you have to do it now? Yes. Yes, they do. So we are at the point where we need to put the heels in. And uh, I don't know when I'm going to do that, but hopefully soon. <laughs> We've got about this much left, so I think we're gonna be just fine. I think we're just gonna make it and then have enough to put in a whatever scrappy blanket. Have enough left over to put in whatever scrappy blanket we end up with. That's a whole other problem on its own. Can you hear her piranha chopping? But you're just so cute. <laughs> oh man, I have another sock whip. I have to go get it. Okay. 
Our second sock whip is just a little BB. Oh god, it's even bb than I thought, and that is I cast on the Pisces sock. <laughs> so this is out of my hand-dyed yarn. Uh, this is the Audrey base, which is the same base that the sock was designed oh. on, but it is in the god color colorway. God killer colorway. It's so baby. I thought I did a whole cuff. So here is the cake. And oh, I just love, like, it's a hundred, it's a hundred percent superwash BFL, but it just has this beautiful shine to it. Oh, I'm so excited for it. I can't wait. So that's yeah, I'm not a lot to say right now. I'm only in the cuff, but I'm very excited to get started. Uh, I'm hoping once I finish my Zion sweater, I can really get going because I really need to finish that. Speaking of, I'm trying to do this without tipping over and knocking everything out of place. Speaking of the Zion sweater, we are, I don't know the last time I showed you this, in the <laughs> sleeves. Ta-da! So the, we are sort of adjusting the pattern because we A, bought the wrong yarn. Uh, we were supposed to get DK weight for the body. We got fingering weight. So we had to hold our fingering weight skeins double and ran out for the sleeves, which is fine. So now I have to decide if I want to subtract the four inches we are missing from the overall pattern, or if we want to continue and fill in that four inch gap with lace. As of right now, if I start the sleeve caps, it ends sort of in my elbow, which is a very odd place, but I'm hoping because it's lace, I can just block the bejesus out of it and that will be okay. Because I don't mind having the thicker part in the elbow. I just don't want the ribbing in the elbow because I feel like that would be very uncomfortable and I already do have problems starting with my elbows. So I don't want to aggravate them by smashing knitting into them. Also, this is how much yarn I have left for both. So I think we're going to have to start doing the sleeve caps, whether we want to or not. And this is Fig Bash by Vine on her Nouveau base, which is part of her Gashley Crum club that I did two years ago now. Oh my God, so long ago. So we are tugging along on those. Uh, I'm doing them two at a time, but it has been proving quite difficult. So I've had to separate them and fix them multiple times. In which case I learned I have a splinter on one of my wooden needles. I don't really know how to fix it. It's one of those like, right here, there's just like a little like bit that's sticking up. So I don't know if sanding it down is gonna help it or just make my needle a weird shape. I'm going to experiment because it is not my only size six needle. I do have the Knit Pro Zangs and Knitter's Pride Novas. So I won't be out a set of needles if it doesn't work, but it just makes me so sad because I love my wooden needles so much. Oh no, I think they're a size five. Nope, they're a size six. So I'm knitting majority of this on size six Knit Pro Zings, which I love. We are chugging uh, long. I'm very excited to get this done. I have finished both the body pieces and they are sitting in the living room next to my blocking mats, ready to go. My goal is to finish this. Maybe I'll finish this tonight. Maybe this will be my tonight knitting and then I can block it tomorrow and then seam it on like Sunday or something. Maybe not Sunday, Sunday's not. That's still in my Mataru bag, which uh, desperately needs to move out of the way because uh, my Zweig sweater is no longer fitting properly in this bag. I love Erin Lane, but this is not a sweater bag. I don't know why I'm making it be one. My knitting has basically been, I should work on this project, but instead I'll work on another project and then maybe cast on this other one and just not be thrilled with any of them. It's a weird spot to be in. But we have put, I'd say a healthy dent into our Zweig sweater. We're still in the body. So uh, the colorways are Oswald for Mayer and they're both on my Marie Cutie base, which is 75% superwash Corydale. 25% nylon and the pink is La Dame Death and we have knit where's my progress keeper uh we knit this bit in about a day which did include ripping back like two rows every hour and a half because 
I was just cabling all willy nilly and I don't know why. Probably because we were driving and talking and went venue shopping. So that not conducive to trying to knit mini cables everywhere. I'm still really loving this knit and the yarn and just I'm so excited for it to be done. I told myself this is for the shop and I shouldn't wear it that much, but I might wear it a lot. I can't help myself. It's just so good. I am alternating skeins for the body so we don't risk any pooling. I'm trying to do this without ripping all the needles off or all the stitches off the needles. And I think we're doing a pretty I'm gonna say a decent job. Like there are, there's definitely a big green chunk. It's not as green as the camera's picking up, but it sort of like rotates like blue to purple to green. Maybe I'll start alternating from the other side of the skein. I don't know. I'm pretty sure these two were dyed at the same time. So I might just, you know, <laughs> I might just be alternating them and honestly not doing anything. So we're, so we're gonna kind of rethink it. Actually, no. I'm not that mad about it. I really like it. It's a very subtle green. The camera's making it seem much brighter in person. Probably because of the lights, so. Now I'm knitting this on, I believe, size six. Size five, 3.75 millimeter. Uh, on my Nova. There's probably Novas. That's really all I can say about it. It's chugging along. I really enjoy it. I can't wait for it to be done, but. I'm going to, I've still got a while to go. Right now we're probably at my natural waist, so I'd like it to get to my, I'd like it to touch my hip bone and then start the ribbing. So I would like this to be more of an oversized sweater. I have done a lot of fitted garments recently and I would like to start incorporating more of the oversized comfy sweaters into my wardrobe slash shop because this will mainly be for, um, bending purposes, so I want it to fit nicely over a mannequin, which is larger than me. So, yes, I have to order my mannequin still. I have all the measurements for it. I just have to physically buy it. And this is sadly still living in my sheeple bag, which is slowly being way too small. That's really been it for the crafting. We did a little bit of sewing. We're gonna try and do some more sewing. We do have a sewing day planned, which I'm very excited about. And we're gonna go to Affordable Fabrics where everything is $2.99 a yard and I can't wait. I haven't been in like eight months and it's been killing me. I'm gonna try really hard to be good, but I've also been trying not to buy things. So you know that feeling when you're like, yeah, I went six months and I didn't buy anything frivolous. And then like you see one thing and just the floodgates open and it's all, it's all downhill from there. I'm afraid that might happen. So I'm going to try to bring cash and then like leave my debit cards at home and just hope for the best. I want to sew things. I also want to knit things, but I can't knit quickly. And I just want products, not process right now. So because we are getting close to finishing, what is happening to my voice? Uh, a couple projects. I am hoping to start some new ones. I'm, my plan is to cast on the Spring into Summer Shawl by Mina Phillip with some hand spun, which is in the living room right now, because I didn't think I was going to do this until just now, as well as I'm going to fix Jake's sweater. So I am knitting him a giant cable -y cardigan right now. And after I finish the Zion, I promise I'm going to pick it up going to work on it but he does have another sweater that I knit him which is the goat herder pullover by Ann Budd and it is out of Brooklyn tweed in the wool socks colorway but it is it would fit a normal person but he is 6'4 and he has a very long torso so it does not it fits him if he doesn't move if he were a mannequin it would fit him perfectly but the second he moves it's far too short so I went digging in my stash and I found this skein leftover from it. Uh, it's not a full skein, which is only 50 grams anyway. It's like a 40 gram skein. So my plan is to pick up stitches at the ribbing. <clears throat> and I, please tell me if this is gonna work or not. Oh my God, tell me this wasn't my twisted, oh my God, it was my twisted stitches face. I just realized this whole sweater's done in twisted stitches because I didn't 
Okay, so my plan is to somehow pick up right before the ribbing, cut the yarn, detach the ribbing, knit this, and then start knitting it down. So knit this whole skein in and then re-knit the, the ribbing and bind off. Is that crazy? Is that gonna work? Help, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Um, so that is my plan. This thing is covered in dog hair because I did, I spent a lot of time knitting this and I spent a lot of money on this yarn because it was my first sweater and I didn't want to mess it up. So I bought the yarn that they used in the pattern and it is a very nice sweater. It feels so good blocked up and ugh, I wear it sometimes, but I know that he would like to wear it, but it is just too short. So I don't want it to be like a comic thing on him anymore. The sleeves I want to say are might be too short too, but I'm just going to try and block them out a little bit more. Slash he usually ends up rolling his sleeves up anyway, so we're gonna go with that. I'm now like really mad at myself for realizing this is done in twisted stitches. Is it though? Maybe it's not. Maybe they're just like starting to fill together. So yeah, that is my plan. I am hoping to at least get the stitches picked up this month so that I can work on it in March a little bit. We will see. We will see. But the sweater is now out of the closet and just kind of following me around the house with the skein kind of tempting and reminding me like you need to do this you need to fix this sweater so those are my big sewing plans in the future we are going to stitches united in march my plan is to not buy any yarn mostly not buy anything i just really want to go and see everybody and like touch things and be inspired and hang out and eat really good barbecue because it's in hartford connecticut which is where my brother works so he knows all like the good lunch places and there's a barbecue place right across the street and it was so delicious so really my plan is to just go eat barbecue and look at yarn and see see how they improved last year was fun but it was very small and not really what i was expecting at all so i am hoping that they kind of figured themselves out a little bit more this year and are learning to grow back into what they used to be because i hear stitches east used to be great and last year was a little underwhelming, despite how much I bought. All right, that is it for our crafting and the rest of this will be life stuff and shop updates. So if you are not here for that, thank you so much for hanging out. And if you are, let's get into the shop update stuff. We'll be having a shop update today, Thursday, February 22nd at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My shop updates don't usually sell out, so there's always yarn in the shop. I'm not too worried about this going up a little bit close to the update thing. Again, normally I would try and do this on Wednesday and get it out Wednesday night, but we just needed a me day. Enough rambling for me. What is going up into the shop will be on the Ginger Base, Oliver Base, Penny Base, and tesla base so we will have narnia demon unicorn in lieu of the new peter rabbit movie coming out peter rabbit and revamped and revisited mr todd It's just a, it's more of like an intense watercolor instead of the very light pastel watercolor it was originally, but I love it so much more. So these will be in the shop today. And we just put up everything that came back from the Cottage Yarn Trunk Show that was in Mint Hill in North Carolina. So if you made it to that, thank you so much for checking them out and us out. So all that is in the shop as well. And that leads us into life stuff. So Jake and I have been watching a lot of not a lot of TV, but we watched uh, the new Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, which I used to watch as a kid, which just, Jake started watching it because he couldn't sleep one night and Netflix was just like, here, check this out. And then he fell in love with it. So he made me watch it. And I, oh, it's so good. If you haven't seen it, it's so good. It just, there's so many feels going on. It's great. I love it. it oh, it's so good. And... What else did we watch? I thought we watched more stuff. No, maybe not. I am hoping to do some reading. I have finished Knitlandia by Clara Parks and I have another book lined up. I still have to buy it on Amazon and I have to get the name of it. So when I do, I will let you know. But Jake's stepmom wrote a book. So I'm very excited to read it. 
she sent us a copy and we started perusing it and it looked really good and then she just published it on Amazon so good job Karen she doesn't watch this I don't think she knows I have a knitting podcast which is fine they don't need to know it's totally cool so I am excited to try and read more hopefully so I'm not going into um if you are new Jake and I recently got engaged it's weird to talk about because there's the tension on me and I don't like it but um, we have started planning for the wedding I'm not going to talk about it here as much as possible because this is not a wedding planning podcast this is a crafty podcast but if crafty things arise such as sewing or knitting or needle pointing or whatever we end up doing that go with it I will share it there but I won't be like giving you weekly updates on where we are in the planning stages and stuff because uh by the end of the week I don't really want to talk about it never mind to make you guys listen to me talk about it we have started planning it and we spent the week well we spent one day this week driving around New England looking at venues so a lot of my knitting time is thanks to that I think we are on the road probably nine hours like we left the house at eight we got home around five so it was like a full work day of just driving and visiting and talking to people and oh god interactions are terrible well uh, we did that that was a big thing this week and we saw blank black panther which was just so good I just really like I'm tempted to just go by myself I know I have to work today but I really also want to see black panther again which is so good so good this weekend I'm having a bunch of college friends over we uh, have a yearly tradition where we get together and uh, make a certain meal called man dogs which is a bacon wrapped hot dog topped with baked beans in a toasted bun cheese whiz is the only condiment allowed but none of us actually put it on there we just always buy a can just for ceremonial sake so that is this weekend and we are hosting this year we haven't hosted in a while because our apartment has been too physically short to fit anybody in it but now we have space it's gonna be really good to see everybody again we only, we only see each other once a year so I'm really glad that it's that time of year again we usually try and do it around Valentine's Day um, but being adults people's schedules are weird so it's like oddly late this year and it just feels like it's still mid-February and I have to keep reminding myself no it's the end of February like you got a couple days left here you gotta wrap up all your monthly stuff so that's that I'm very excited for it I'm so excited we did like a super deep clean of the apartment and Iron found all 500 of his tennis balls and is just carrying them all around individually I put them all in a basket and he's just if I say no to one tennis ball he just goes and grabs another one like maybe I'll try this one so it's been our life that has been our life that has been life stuff it's yeah things have been a little bit weird because of the wedding planning thing and trying to figure that whole thing out we do have a date set so that's exciting at least that's out of the way uh we potentially have a venue i wasn't gonna talk about this but yeah we're starting negotiations for venues all that stuff and that's it no more wedding talk don't i just don't want to i am very excited for it i just don't want people there does that make sense <laughs> i'm going to go dye some yarn for another wholesale order <sighs> we've just been wholesaling it up and down so uh and start on next week's shop update if there are any colorways you would like to see in the shop update please let me know i am basing all of the colorways by what is low in the shop we are going to start bringing back our spring and summer colorways which i'm very excited about the um, beatrix potter line I think we're gonna bring back Jeremy Fisher this year because we haven't did, we didn't do him last year mermaids don't run track is gonna come back my son and stars is gonna come back that one I usually only die with moon of my life but now that it's 65 degrees in February and I know we're gonna have another snowstorm because it's New England but spring is starting I mean March is what in like lamb out like a lion so thank you so much for watching thank you for coming back each week and supporting the shop and letting me do what i love for a living so i will see you guys next week bye mm -hmm.